everyone. This is a tutorial meant for in particular tattoo artists that would like to have a clean design of an arm for example and have trouble with uh, the wrapping of the model of the hand itself. From what I've noticed in our example I'm gonna show you that by doing two different types of unwrapping the model you might get a clean and more precise unwrapping when you have a drawing made in Procreate for example because Procreate allows you to make way more detailed uh, painting on low poly models so for example in the left side I have the same arm that I made one subdivision and decimated so that way the, pol the polygons are not polygons anymore are triangles and I'm gonna do for both of them the unwrapping first of all I'm gonna do it classical with UV un unwrap at last and see how it goes okay so this is the classic unwrap at last and we're gonna do for this one as well keep in mind that Unwrapping at last needs to be under one, 100,000 polygons because otherwise it will do a really slow job. So I made for both of them the unwrapping and if I were to export them as an OBJ file for Procreate, just one sec. I forgot to turn on only include selected objects because I want to showcase for both of them. So, have both of them, left and right. If I were to paint on any of the models, when I go to settings and show 2D texture, just one sec because this way isn't that visible, I'm gonna add for both of them full black so that way when I go to show 2D texture you will notice the unwrapping of both now I'm gonna go back to 3D and with a different color I'm gonna draw some markings so that way you will see the placements of them in the 2D texture I'm gonna do for this one as well The reason why I would like to address this tutorial for tattoo artists is mainly because we use a lot of the drawings to complete a full sleeve for example. And that full sleeve it's, it comes really in handy when we have to split in a 2D version of the 3D model itself. So as you can see it's kind of confusing to look at your mesh because the, un the unwrapping of the model doesn't go like in a clean and smooth cut, for example. But what I've noticed, if I go back to Nomad and I undo the unwrapping, and this time I'm gonna do first for the left one, I'm gonna do unwrap BFF. You can already see that it's just one mesh that's unwrapped in one single image. I'm gonna do the same for the right one. Unwrap BFF. As you can see, it's way smoother. So now, I'm gonna export both of them into procreate again and I'm gonna check out the 2D mesh I'm gonna drop color on them and paint with a different color a few markings let's change the color so you can notice both of them, how the unwrap BFF works. I'm 
All right, now if I turn on Show 2D Texture, you will notice for the first one, it's something like this. And you can already tell that it's a way cleaner design. If I were to put a photo, for example, on this one with the orange, I'm gonna clean it and add a photo. For example, this one, and put it like this. I'm gonna do the projection depth bidirectional so that way you can see it both ways and the projection all the way that way it wraps around the arm keep in mind this is just an example to show you that it might help if you do the unwrap on BFF if it's a clean model you notice there are no fingers no nothing complicated with the model itself so now if i turn on the 2 2d texture you will notice that it's already unwrapped and it's unwrapped without any splits this way if you draw even in 2D, you can draw way more simple the design itself for your tattoo, for a large piece such as a full sleeve. And it's way easier to unwrap it and even print it out so you can stick it on the client's hand. I'm gonna turn off this. I hope it helps and let me know if you if you have any feedback or comments on this technique. I'm not saying that it's the best way to do it, but it could help you out to make a way more clean print for your stencil and to just start your work for a large project such as a full sleeve. I will um, link the model because this model is a purchased one from CG Trader. I will put the link in the description and give it to you guys so you can purchase it yourself if you don't want to do it from scratch. I find that this model in particular has a really clean um, polygon set and yeah it helps me build a way better project using a clean design that was retopologized and I don't have to stress about the retopology of the mesh itself I just use this purchased one and yeah I, I'm gonna adjust it here and there if the model is way to buff or the client is way more skinny and such but all in all i hope it helps and yeah just enjoy your work keep it creative